Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Bernie here and in today's video, I am going to show you how I slow down my 4K 120fps footage on the FX30 using Final Cut Pro. Alright, as you can see right now, I have my Final Cut Pro and I'm using the 10.6.5 still. I have already made the uh, project file way, way back, actually a library. So all I have to do is to open the library for you. And this was actually published two weeks ago. If you haven't seen that yet, you can click the link right here. And as you can see, I have here different libraries to open, but I'm going to open the GH6 versus FX30 4K 120fps. So here we go right now. All right, so in this case, we have the bin. I already have all of my footage here in this bin right here. And as you can see, I have a bunch of uh, project files all ready made. And as you can see right here, the upper corner of the thumbnail, there's this icon. It's kind of like a, a sunlight, I would say. So why is this icon so important? It is because this is an indication that your clip is 120 FPS and it's a good thing and it's very helpful. For me, I really like it. All right, so there's that. So first clip, we're gonna concentrate on this one. So I'll press I, then play. All right, and press O to find the end point. But first, before we drag it to the timeline or before we even hit Q, first is go to the timeline and I'm on a MacBook Air, so press function back and you will go to the first frame of your timeline. And the next thing I'm gonna do is to press and hold option and then W. This way, I created a gap. This gap is gonna be the foundation. This one here, select it one more time and then press Q. And I'm gonna press play again from the very start. So this one is in normal mode. When we slow this down and once you click that, you can see a lot of options right here. So we will concentrate on this number one, the first one meaning slow. And as you can see, this one has 50%, 25%, and 10%. So where is actually the 20% that we need for this slow motion shot? Alright, so since I'm showing you already the slow option right here, why not click them and show the effects to you all? So let's start off with 50%. Kaboom! As you can see here, it says slow and 50%. So let's play it. Yeah, for 50%, it's kind of like nothing's changed. It's like normal. Now let's move on to slow 25%. Here we go. Yeah, not bad actually, huh? Now, moving on to next one is the 10%. And huh? By the way, I forgot to tell you that when you film in 120fps using the FX30, you can capture the audio. So there's that. See, actually, it's pretty easy if you want to choose 50, 25, or 10%. But the thing about this one is that I really want the true percentage. And I just want Final Cut Pro to automatically do it for me. So from uh, this part right here, just go to automatic speed. And let's see what's going to happen when I click this one so there you go this is the easiest way on how you slow down your 120 fps footage so right now let's see in full screen mode as you can see very smooth huh all right so there you go that's about it for this video i hope you find this helpful this is bernie until the next one goodbye for now